Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty cool news when it comes to the return of a really good Xbox Game Pass promotion that was actually taken away from quite some time. It's actually coming back as of now. We also have some pretty other big news. We have some big dividing going on over here too as well when it comes to games, games industries, and stuff as a whole. Some brand new cool SSD stuff coming up for Xbox. Just a lot of really kind of cool Xbox news. Let's so go talk about it to kind of wind out into the weekend. As well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed, notifications on. We have the brand new Samsung promotion going on with the how links down below, so check those on out. We have the Twitter and Twitch room. going to be hanging out on Twitch if you guys are bored right now. And of course, just appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Let's dive into the video itself. So first and foremost, we actually have some pretty big kind of news over here, more so in regards to uh, the Xbox Game Pass. So for some odd reason you guys do or do not know, they actually used to have a really good deal that was basically like a $1 a month for like an initial premium offer to get people into the Game Pass ecosystem. And sadly, that actually went away. It's gone for quite some time. No one really kind of knew what was going on with it, and we kind of missed it. But right now, we actually do have Microsoft reinstating the $1 Xbox Game Pass deal, although there is a catch to it that actually is now back in the groove. And I think a lot of folks are happy with this, and I do think this was a really, really good promotion, at least in my mind. And I also know quite a few folks who probably went and made, like, secondary emails and, like, fifthendary emails to go and keep on doing the Game Pass deals. But after killing off its popular $1 first month Xbox Game Pass deal at the end of March, so it's actually been quite a few months at this point. Just three months later, has reversed that decision and brought back the deal once more. But that one alteration regarding Game Pass as a whole. So basically, they're changing up all the stuff a little bit. So right now, you can indeed get the first month of Xbox Game Pass for a dollar still. Once this deal is actually now back in business, you guys are good to go. If you guys are doing the Game Pass Ultimate for $17 a month after, or the PC Game Pass for $10. So basically, if you guys are on the PC side, or you guys want to get the slightly updated version, you guys can for just un bacorino. So console only, though, funny enough, is $11 a month, so you guys have an Xbox Series X and S, but if for some odd reason you guys do not have a console, it's better to just do the normal PC versions, and it's kind of weird. So if this is Xbox Game Pass, and it kind of seems where that people on the actual console itself, which is literally named after it, is somehow not getting the deal. Now, granted, the PC user base is definitely a place they can kind of ground more people into and get into the ecosystem, so I understand why they want to have PC users. There's definitely PC users that don't even know about Xbox consoles, etc., but I also kind of feel a little bit bad because it does seem like they're taking away a little bit of from the Xbox core audience, which is like their big boy main usual people. Kind of weird, kind of strange to go and see. However, though, there's an additional charge, a change. You can no longer convert Xbox Live Gold to Xbox Game Pass at a one-to-one -one ratio, which resulted in people stacking for extended use and people taking advantage of these exploits. Now it's a three-to-two ratio, so three years of gold would be two years of Game Pass, so it's not quite as generous as before. Though a lot of folks were kind of somewhat concerned on the fact that they didn't really have anything kind of really good deal-wise for this. Like, you always need to have some sort of a uh, customer acquisition, whether it's something to do with, like, the Family Pass, which some folks were just assuming they'll go switch to the Family Pass instead and basically make that, like, their kind of go-to thing, where it's like, oh, hey, cool, we'll go and, well... I don't know, we'll just go make sure that all the games you can go get and play are just good that way. Like, it just kind of makes sense. It's a good vibe. Like, you get your family pan, you get like you get five people, you make it cheap, it's a good price. You don't have to really worry about this Game Pass first month deal, whatever it might be. Now, I'm one of those people I kind of care more about the initial promo things, because I'm just my own singular dude. But I'm sure someone with a family, like a really good group of friends, they may care more about a family deal and save money over time. I'm also someone who does go on and off of Game Pass, depending on what's going on. If it's good stuff, it's good. If it's bad stuff, it's bad. It can kind of go either way. So, uh, you know, if there's no good games, I'm not going to keep Game Pass up. That's what I'm trying to go and say. So yeah, there actually is a brand new deal with this one. So they were basically even Paul himself, the writer of the article, is like, hey, what was the timing with this? Like, what's the deal with this? Was this pause on the $1 deal always temporary? Did they go and more so want to raise up the prices because they did want to bump it up to $11, a little bit higher too as well? Did they have issues with maybe that gold live, like basically bug slash like redemption thing? Like they just thought the deal was too good, so they want to stop it or do whatever? I'm not really super sure. At the end of the day, I'm actually not super sure. So when it comes to this one, they did go and reveal that in January of 2022, that did help go have to be a 25 million subs then, but it does seem like a lot of these things have been going down. Like a lot of these things are actually some people are rumoring around the 17 to 20 million mark or so, give or take on the Game Pass numbers, which is still good. Like you can still make good money, you can still go make good deals with it, it should be all around good to go. But it does kind of seem like a lot of folks are saying the growth is slowing back down, although we do have a pretty good next few weeks slash months of actual games themselves. 
Although they keep on saying that uh, Microsoft reported that Game Pass was profitable, even with all these day one games and Xbox Studios. And also in fiscal year 21, it reportedly brought in $3 billion worth of revenue, which is 18% of the total Xbox business, which is just crazy to go and see. Especially because don't forget, we haven't had any major big games in a little bit, and we'll probably see a massive spike up for the next few months after Starfield comes out, because I myself will make sure I have Game Pass for Starfield. So it's kind of crazy to see the numbers, and I'll be very curious to see that in general. I could probably see that being like a $30 million plus month in terms of the Xbox subscription base, so I'll be very curious to go and see. But there's one nice thing to kind of note, maybe they want to even do this deal right before the holiday season where a lot of brand new games are coming out, possibly. That would make a lot of sense, at least in my mind. So I'm kind of curious on what you guys think. But either way, this is actually really good news. Like, the fact that this deal's back, it kind of gives people a good incentivization to join Xbox Game Pass, especially PC users, and right before Starfield, it gives me a good little vibe. As well, if you guys are also kind of curious to just upcoming good games, Insurgency, really old school game, Exo Primal, a really cool, like, dinosaur hunting type game. Uh, the Sea of Thieves game is actually going to be, obviously, I think in my opinion, pretty cool as well. It's been getting a little bit of resurgence too with Summit Planet and selves. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre will be a fantastic multiplayer game to go and check out myself. The Sea of Stars is a really cool OG, like uh, RPG type style game. Obviously, Starfield and Liza Pi. This will probably be a really, really good month, I would say, for all these games. And with Payday 3, like September, I think it's going to be a fantastic month, I think, for upcoming games over here for Game Pass itself. And obviously, with some of the other bigger games, such as Forza and City Skyline. I really want to play. Play it up. It's going to be a good game, too. Persona, Stalker, which I'm still not really sure if this game will be delayed, delayed or not. I think there's also a few other various games, too, such as... Uh, I think they wanted to go and throw in the brand new Remnant game, like that like Dark Souls with Guns type style game as well. So we actually have some pretty good games games throughout the rest of the year coming out here on Game Pass. A lot of other indie games too, as you guys can see, like Turnip Boy Robs a Bank. I'm not sure if any of you guys watching my video are hyped up for Turnip Boy Robs a Bank. Hopefully someone is out there, but I've never heard of it. But either way, there's a pretty good good game a list of games coming out. So I myself cannot wait to go check out quite a few of these, especially like these two months over here. Probably we had pretty much the last three months of the year would be absolutely fantastic. So I would say a good thumbs up. We get to see the Xbox Redemption over now. Everything should be going pretty good. I'm excited to get to go and see all these brand new games, and life is going pretty pretty swell. Now, some other kind of big things to kind of note is also there is a brand new Xbox expansion card. Now, if you guys do a reminder, we also have a brand new Samsung phones and Amazon deals, but if you guys are curious in this one, they do have a brand new Seagate storage over here for the Xbox Series X. So, for Prime Day Xbox Series X deals, including big savings and some of the best Xbox things, we now have two really big Xbox storages over here. One more one is the one terabyte expansion card, which is now $150 over here on Amazon, and then the same pretty similar price point over here for the Euro for $150 in the Euro side, in case you guys are curious. It does seem kind of very nice to see these Xbox deals popping on up. Now, so we also had a little bit more drama, too, for this GTA drama. Like, this GTA drama has been a little bit more bigger than expected, where some folks are thinking it might be good, might be bad, might be ugly. So if you missed it, GTA all once again landed on Xbox Game Pass yesterday is the perfect excuse to try the franchise out. I'm surprised if any of you guys have not already. It also just happens to be the next-gen version, too, so if you guys want to check out the next-gen PC or Xbox side. There's quite a few other various games, too, such as Sword and Fairy, Together Forever, uh, McPixel 3, Common Hood, and a few of these various games, too, like I mentioned, like The Insurgency, Exo Primal, etc., are also coming out, too, as well. But a lot of folks actually were surprised on the GTA drop. Now, we talked about this on a prior video, too, a little bit, mainly on the fact of it seemed like the GTA thing was kind of throwing people off for a loop because some people already owned the game. They didn't necessarily want to spend the extra money on it or move it over to, like, a brand new system for it, say, like, they had, like, a PS5 or whatever. But on top of that, too, a lot of folks were also skeptical on the fact that, well, the game itself may just be dr there to drive more microtransactions, and some folks were rough on it. Like, a good example, too, is some folks who want to actually have own the game, download the game, and have it taken away, because even a Reddit user said, don't trust Rockstar on this, they will yank it off Game Pass in a month or two later, and anyone who moved their characters to the next-gen version will have to rebuy the game itself, with the other Jack Black stating, isn't this just, like, the fifth time they put on Game Pass? Seems like every few months it disappears quietly and then gets put back on as if there's something new for Game Pass. While a 10-year game coming to Game Game Pass hype again, again, again. So some folks are actually like kind of like not the biggest fan of the fact that GTA keeps coming. We saw these really big speculatory numbers where they basically made a lot more microtransaction money on when they had a chance to go and bring up these games in the first place. They had a chance to be 
like, hey, like it's free to play. You spend money on these online multiplayer lobbies, try to get the microtransactions, and you go from there. So some folks are also a bit on the skeptical side when it does come to GTA as a whole. So I don't know, it's been kind of all the place too, because I feel like the GTA drama doesn't really seem like it should be drama, but well, people always like to chime in their thoughts and comments online. And I love to hear your thoughts and comments too as well. So make sure you guys are subscribed, give me your thoughts and comments down below. Check out the Twitch stream if you guys are bored. Especially go check out the how link with our brand new phone link too for the reservations. That's all linked down below. We have the Twitter Twitch screen. Leave a like if you guys would like to. And I just appreciate you guys all so much for watching. One more videos all throughout this week, and I love you guys.